Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed, Archer unveils Midnight, its future production aircraft. Pioneering human organ transport via UAS. And Ampere's Eco Caravan flies. And I'm your host, Helen Blee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed. Let's get into today's stories. Archer unveils Midnight, its first production aircraft. Archer Aviation has unveiled its production aircraft Midnight, a pilot plus four passenger eVTOL aircraft during its open house event in Palo Alto, California. Midnight is the evolution of Archer's demonstrator eVTOL aircraft Maker, which has validated its 12 tilt 6 configuration and key enabling technologies. Midnight is designed to be safe, sustainable, quiet, and with its expected payload of over 1,000 pounds, can carry four passengers plus a pilot. Midnight is optimized for back to back short distance trips of around 20 miles, with a charging time of approximately 10 minutes in between. Archer is working to certify Midnight with the FAA in late 2024 and will then use it as part of its UAM network, which it plans to launch in 25. In August, Archer completed Midnight's preliminary design review covering all aspects of the aircraft specification and manufacturing requirements, which enabled it to determine that the design is feasible for type certification and commercialization. Archer has also made rapid progress on Maker's flight testing program and is on schedule to complete a full transition flight in the coming weeks, just 12 months after its first hover flight. And after the break, Airborne Uncrewed about to upgrade into Airborne Next Gen. You know, as we look back on 2022, it has been quite a year. We hope you had a chance to participate in the good times and learn and fly and expand your horizons. To wind up the year and celebrate the holidays, we're going to share a 22% discount with you on any King Schools course. Just use the code word GRAVY at checkout or when you call us. Let's have a great Thanksgiving week. And a happy holiday season. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Airborne Uncrewed about to upgrade into Airborne Next Gen. Big changes are coming for Airborne Uncrewed, which will be renamed Airborne Next Gen to represent and cover the rapid growth in next generation aviation technologies for both the crewed and uncrewed vehicles of a swiftly developing tomorrow. In addition to an upgraded program, Airborne Next Gen is looking forward to partnering with several excellent aviation organizations and entities in order to represent the latest in aerospace developments. Airborne Next Gen will be introduced shortly. USAF to test XQ-58 autonomous aircraft. The Air Force's 96th test wing announced on November 9th that two XQ-58 Valkyrie drones had been transferred to the 40th Flight Test Squadron at Florida's Eglin AFB. Developed and manufactured by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions for the USAF's low-cost attributable strike demonstrator program, the XQ-58 Valkyrie is an experimental stealthy UCAV, the design functions of which are to escort F-22 Raptors or F-35 Lightning IIs during combat missions, deploy weapons or surveillance systems, scout, lay down defensive fire, and or absorb enemy fire if attacked. iSpace announces Mission 1 launch date iSpace has announced the imminent launch of its Mission 1 Lunar Lander, part of the Hakuto-R Lunar Exploration Program. The mission will depart Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on or about November 28th. 
M1 is a technology demonstration by which iSpace seeks to validate its lander's design, as well as the company's business model, which consists primarily of providing reliable lunar transportation and data services. Cornwall obtained spaceport license from CAA. Space Cornwall has officially obtained the United Kingdom's first-ever spaceport license issued by state regulators. The development was originally selected as one of eight potential UK sites to build a burgeoning domestic space industry, allowing a plethora of jobs and tech to remain in the British satellite industry. The region of Cornwall is currently home to more than 55 space-related companies, soon to complete its offering with a satellite launch from the local airport. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Pioneering Human Organ Transport via UIS a group of three organ procurement organizations, San Antonio's Texas Organ Sharing Alliance, Houston's Life Gift, and Oklahoma City's Life Share, have teamed with the Matador Unmanned Aerial System Consortium to test the viability of transporting human organs and blood between Lubbock, Oklahoma City, and San Antonio via unmanned aerial system. The test took place on November 15th with the UAS flight departing Lubbock's Texas Tech University Reese Technology Center, proceeding a distance of 304 nautical miles to Oklahoma City, then traveling 409 nautical miles to San Antonio. The exercise occasioned the first instance in which the donated organs were transported such a distance by an autonomous aerial system. The optionally piloted aircraft transported a donated human liver, kidney, and pancreas between the three cities. Notwithstanding the FAA-mandated presence of a human pilot aboard the aircraft, the mission was flown exclusively by a suite of onboard technologies. The organs, donated for clinical research, were not transplanted following the flight demonstration. TOSA, LifeGift, and LifeShare collectively posit that autonomous UAS technology stands to better serve patients by improving the transport of donated organs and tissues in rural areas. And after these messages, Ampere's Eco Caravan flies. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Ampere's Eco Caravan flies. On Friday, November 18th, Ampere's Eco Caravan made its maiden flight from Camarillo Airport, thereby heralding the actualization of the company's ambitious objectives. Piloted by Elliot Seguin, the nine passenger Eco Caravan flew for 33 minutes, during which Seguin climbed the aircraft to 3,500 feet at full output of the hybrid internal combustion electric powertrain. At cruise, Seguin devoted approximately 20 minutes to conducting various power tests and collecting power plant performance data. The Eco Caravan is the first hybrid electric aircraft to enter into the FAA's formal certification process. Ampere expects the agency to bestow supplemental type certification, tailored for the newly ascended machine's hybrid propulsion system, upon the Eco Caravan in 2024. Ampere's brass maintains an STC scheme will prove less costly and time-consuming than a full aircraft certification program. In essence, the Eco Caravan is a hybrid electric power iteration of Cessna's 208B Grand Caravan. Ampere asserts the model will afford operators up to 70% reductions in both fuel consumption and engine emissions over the legacy turboprop caravan while preserving payload capability and extending range. 
Ampere further asserts its Eco Caravan is effectively carbon neutral when operated on sustainable aviation fuel, and that the machine's operating costs are 25 to 40 percent lower than those of the standard Grand Caravan. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.